Here's how you unpair and reset an Apple Watch. Grab the iPhone that's currently paired with a watch and go to the Watch app. On the top left corner, tap All Watches and you should see your watch listed here. Tap the little info button and all the way on the bottom, you'll see an option to unpair this Apple Watch. Confirm you want to unpair the watch and type your Apple account password when prompted to do so. In my case, this removed the watch from my phone, but I got this unpairing error message at the end. Basically, it's telling me that even though the watch was unpaired from the phone, my data is still on the watch. To complete the unpairing, I should reset the watch itself. To do that, go to Settings on your watch and under General, find the Reset setting. From here, you can erase all content and settings, which will wipe out all your data and reset your watch like it came from the factory. This cannot be undone, so make sure you have your watch backed up if there's anything important on it. Once you've erased all data, your watch can now be paired with any iPhone. If you're planning to sell your old watch or just hand it down to someone else, it's important to unpair and reset it properly so the next user will be able to pair it with their phone. When pairing the watch with the phone, you can either set it up as a new Apple Watch or restore it from a backup if you made backups before. And that's all there is to it. Unpairing can also sometimes fix random issues with your watch, so if you're experiencing issues and restarting the watch hasn't fixed them, unpairing is always a good idea. Thanks for watching, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you next time.